How's it going everybody? Sean Allen here. Another day, another vlog. As you can see, I'm back at the garden once again. My weekly garden videos. Gardening videos. <laughs> Grammar, Sean, gosh. Anyways, as you can see, I'm about to deal with this again. We've got the area where we're going to be putting the organizer right over here. The old, like, raised bed over here. It's falling apart, so i got to remove that. If you guys remember from my last update, I removed a whole bunch of leaves back here. A bunch of old stuff. And... Destroyed some old wood. We're going to be continuing that project. It's going to be a lot of fun. Sort of. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Very quickly, though, I want to give you guys a little update. As you can see, this whole spot that was telling me is going to be potatoes. And look at these potatoes right here. Oh, my goodness. We also have purple potatoes, too. Are those yeah. purple? Yeah. Nice. And this is left from last year. I don't know what this is. So I think it's a red potato. It looks like it's a red potato. And that's probably a red potato. Yeah. But I just, this is going to be uh, uh, carrots oh, in here. Okay. And then these are red <laughs> potatoes we bought at the store, and they're all going to seed. So I'm going to plant oh. them in seed potatoes too. There we go. So this whole area, about a half to three to two thirds of it, is going to be red potatoes. Wow. So that over there is going to be the onions and garlic right there. Yeah, garlic gulch and onion fields. Nice. And what about potato? What's the pit? red potato rotunda or something? Rotunda, I think, yeah. Now, what about this section over here? Where you have the tomato this holders. Be oh, so we're not even doing tomatoes. Yeah, tomato, tomatoes are in the uh, containers. Oh, okay. Up against the fence. Gotcha. And over here we got the chard and the lettuce over there. Right. And we got lettuce around the corner. Right. And then this is going to be beets. Oh. And you said that's going to be strawberries? This whole thing here is going to be strawberries. Nice. So we got more strawberries out in the back. Right. Which we might just leave out there as well, right? Right. Okay. Once again, we have our fruit trees over here. There's the mandarin, the apple trees, the peach tree, the loquat tree, and our gigantic orange tree, which I might be making some more orange juice very soon because we got a lot of oranges in there. They look a little bit small, but that's okay. It looks like we got some big ones up there at the top, though. I think the oranges I really want to juice are these monstrosities right here. These gigantic ones. And by the way, in case you're wondering, this is actually a thermometer reader. Because it gets chilly out here, so we have a heater right here just in case it gets cold. This is the avocado tree, or trees, I should say. It's been getting down into the 30s. Yeah, the 30s is just ridiculous. And this may look like oranges, but they're actually lemons. Look at these lemons. Good lord. And last but not least, we have... These wrinkly things, <laughs> the tangerines, looks like this one's been in the shower or the bathtub a little too long. It's got all these wrinkles. I made it back to the back garden once again. And as you can see, I have some Target bags. Yes, I actually went on a Target run. I found these rather interesting looking solar deck lights, solar LED deck lights, I mean. And I'm thinking to myself, well, this area doesn't get a whole lot of light back here, hardly ever. Well, except for these lights over here and the spotlights that are aimed at the arbor here. And I'm like thinking to myself, it'd be kind of cool to have some more light back here. You know what I mean? In case we're out here in the dark, because it gets especially dark out here at night. And if they're good, we'll continue using these. All right, now it's time to clean this area up and get ready to bring back the organizer or the workbench, whatever you want to call it. I'm so glad I opened that up. You guys saw my last video update or gardening video. I opened this whole area up back here so that way you could go around this way into the berry farm before it was all completely blocked off. been removed.
to pick up a lot of it. <laughs> it's time to get the organizer. This is from across the street from my house and I can't tell if that is a hawk or an owl. That's a hawk. Whoa! Woo! There it goes. So this is the organizer right here. I'm just going to take a few things off of here so that way they don't fall off. It's a miracle, bro. Realize it's the opposite direction, so that's gonna make things a little challenging. <laughs> So dad's organizer for the garden is back and looks good actually. I'm just moving it just a little bit more. There we go. This looks great right here. Give it a little trim right there so that way we can get to it easily. Maybe put a couple pots or something right there. This right here is actually a piece of another greenhouse so that might get removed or, or not. I think my next task is working this area. In fact, the plant that should go here is that thing right there which I removed a couple of days ago. So. I think that'll be my next goal is to clean this area up and make this look nice and then deal with that. <laughs> but I think uh, that's, that's all I'm going to do for this video for today. With that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Be sure to check out my videos here on YouTube as well as my other channels, the educational series, the design video series, and the travel town series. You can find me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description of this video. And by the way, if you've never seen any of my gardening videos, go ahead and check out the playlist link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. In seen as they say in Hollywood, still not in Hollywood, I'm at home in the garden with the organizer. That, my friends, is a wrap. See you next time.